Hi Gemini, welcome to your first part of October Love Connection Reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please do check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, playlists, tons of um, stuff there, so please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you for all your support. Those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for all your support. And it does really help to make the channel grow and flourish and being a part of that. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so this is for Gemini. First half of October already. Can you believe that? Going into October. Where is time going? Hope everybody's doing well. Gemini. What's going on with Gemini in the love department? First half of October. If you're returning, you know how this works. If you're new, this is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet energy. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. Sort of like a little extra bonus. So what do we have for Gemini? First part, fire energy. So Leo, Sag, or Aries, energy, and fire is all about that passion and zest for life. It's a go-getting type of energy. So I don't know, we'll see how that plays into your reading. Could be a very passionate connection. All right. So let's see. First thing I'll do here with this deck is get a overall love connection energy for your situation, and then I'll get one for you, one for your person, how you're both feeling about each other and the connection, clarify with tarot. Then at the end, we'll get a few more messages from this article. All right, so what do we have for Gemini? What is the overall love connection energy? And this can be any type of connection, nothing specific, and whoever you have in mind right now. So, but it has to be some sort of connection, not just, well, I like this person and they doesn't and they don't know I exist, so you have to have some form of connection, any kind of connection here. So I mean, you don't have to be um, committed or married, you can be dating, you could both just like each other, be friends, whatever your situation here. Okay, Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? For this love connection energy spirit, please, can we have one card for Gemini, please? Thank you so much. I think I'm going to take the second one here. All right. And we have here, we have, listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you, but need to listen with a loving heart. Hmm. And that's number one. So this may be a new relationship or a new beginning or something like that. Ones are about new, new beginnings. So you are listening to what is being said to you but you need to listen with a loving heart so maybe this person is trying to tell you in subtle ways that they like you but you're not really like getting the vibes you're not really like catching on maybe I don't know or maybe you're trying to let them know uh, that you like them in subtle ways but they're not really catching on you I don't know it's either that or um, both need to listen to each other more uh, if you're not really like listening to each other not hearing what the other person is saying, but we'll see what's going on here. So let's get one for you, one for your person, one for you, one for your person. All right, so let's see how you are feeling about them and this connection. Wow, we have true love, Gemini. This love is a once in a lifetime love number 30, which is three, which is about working together teamwork. So, okay, so you feel like it's true love with this person. Let's see how they are feeling. They have expressed love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. Oh, look at this right here. Hmm, 1910. 10 is about endings and then one is a new beginning. So, and you see, looks like he's offering her like this gift and maybe some of you are going to get proposed to I don't know just saying that's what it kind of looks like to me 
All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have, wow, the union of hearts here. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. Wow, and we have 82 again, which is 10 endings, one new beginnings. Wow, two people coming to one, coming together as one in soulmate union. Union of hearts, wow. All right, so let's see. Let's clarify with the tarot now for you, Gemini. Just want to make sure you can see all the cards okay. This is a new angle, so if you've seen my videos before, I'm at a new angle now, much more comfortable at the table. I have a new mat here with my logo, so, and I'm decorated for Halloween, so happy early Halloween. All right, even have orange nail polish. All right, what's going on for Gemini? True love, let's clarify one for you, one for your person. What's going on here? All right, well, I feel like this one was yours, this one is theirs. The Magician, one. And I had said we had <clears throat> 10 with them, one, and over here, 10, one. And here's the Magician, one, about the new beginnings here, manifesting a brand new beginning here. Wow. And this is Gemini and Virgo, so that's your energy. So you you definitely feel like this is true love. You want to manifest this brand new beginning with this person. Wow, and they have the Empress. Wow. So <laughs> they see you as someone as high value. There's growth, expansion, love, emotions, passion, stability. It's They see everything within you, everything. Of all the queens of the deck, this is the mother of the deck. They even may want to have children with you. The Empress is usually a wife. This is divine uh, divine feminine energy. Wow. So they really, really respect you here a lot, and they see a lot of value with you. And uh, they may want to marry you and have children with you. And I feel like you're ready for that because you have the magician there. All right, so let's get a couple more clarifiers. One for the Magician, one for the Empress. Wow, so Four of Pentacles came out for you. So I just feel like you wanna hold on to this person. You don't wanna let them go. They're very stable energy here. Uh, bring you, They bring you a lot of stability. So this is someone that you wanna hold on to. Pentacles are for a lifetime. There's, you know, it's about stability. So I feel definitely feel like here you want to uh, hold on to this person and three of pentacles on their side, which again is about building, growing, working together for the long term, building a foundation and a legacy and a family and everything together moving forward. Wow. And I did say that with the Empress here. So, wow. All right. So let's get the actual situation here. Let's get the actual situation here from the Gemini. Gemini, a lot of energy here, wow. It's too many. Have about three for the actual situation in this love connection for Gemini. One, two, and three. All right, so we have the Page of Swords, Air Energy, that's your energy, Libra Gemini Aquarius. We have the Chariot, which is Cancer Energy major arcana and now we have the nine of pentacles so connecting to you in the magician in the four of pentacles is the page of swords so this is communication um you know maybe keeping tabs on one another too but i'm not really getting that energy this is just very open honest communication willing to cut out anything that stands in your way in this connection with this person um using that sword when you have to to cut out all obstacles that may stand in your way with this person and speaking from a place of truth and clarity and connecting to them. Wow, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is like the minor arcana of the Empress. So as I said, they really see a lot of value, stability, growth, expansion, respect for you. Wow. So we have two cards of the what I feel is the Empress right here connected to them. And they really want to work on this with you moving forward. They want to work on the relationship. They want to build for the long term, for the future. And then connecting the two of you in your energy here is the chariot. So this is moving forward uh, with a, a lot of drive, ambition, passion, being very successful and balanced here, going after what you want, moving forward 
quickly here to success and victory and this connection and a lot of balance. Wow. So let's get a this one wanted to stay on the table and this one too. So <laughs> wow. Queen of Swords is your energy again, king or queen. And every time to me, the divine, this looks like divine energy to me, like holding up the sword of truth here. But it's also your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You know, standing up for this relationship, having truth and clarity. Again, cutting away things not serving, not taking any BS, having truth and clarity in this connection. This is your person. This is your true love. And on their side, we have the Ace of Wands, a brand new, be passionate beginning here. A lots, lots of excitement, passion, new beginnings here with the Ace of Wands. Wow. So yes, passionate new beginning here, but there's also stability, a lot of stability, a lot of pentacles here, and a lot of truth and clarity with the uh, swords. Not a lot of cups, but I mean, you did have true love there and the union of hearts here. So this is like the two of cups to me. And true love is over here is sort of like the lover's card to me. So, okay, so let's get a couple cards of advice for you, Gemini. Knight of Swords, wow. And the two of swords, wow. So, hmm, so the Knight of Swords here rushing in your energy, Libra Gemini Aquarius, rushing in with truth clarity truths like you really want to rush into this person but then you have the two of swords which is like mental blockage not mental blockage but indecisiveness not sure what to do here so it's like you want to rush into this person but you're not sure how to do it so i don't know um if you're thinking about wanting to level up the commitment or propose or something like that or exclusively date or whatever here but maybe with the Two of Swords, you're unsure how they truly feel if they want more. But I really see here, they want this passionate new beginning with you, with the Ace of Wands. They want to work on it. They see you as an Empress. The chariot in between connecting the two of you, wanting to move this forward quickly. So your advice is not to be indecisive and confused and not sure what to do. Just to, well, sort of rush in here with your truth and clarity here. But... Be mindful of this energy. This can be kind of a trouble, meddlesome energy if you rush in without thinking clearly first. So maybe this is telling you to, you know, take a little bit of a slower approach and really think things through first before you rush in and, uh, you know, maybe come across too brash in a certain way. All right, so let's get two more to clarify your advice. The Gemini, love connection. All right, so we have, the, wow, now we have the Queen of Pentacles. So that is also like another minor arcana of the Empress to me too, also. So one more for advice for Gemini. And the Six of Pentacles, wow. So yeah, this is all Earth energy here. So, I mean, they could be an Earth sign. Um, the Empress is Libra and Taurus. Um, if they're not a fire sign, I mean, they could be any sign really. Um, like I said, we don't have a lot of cups here yet. A lot of swords, wands, and pentacles. But now we have the queen of pentacles and the six of pentacles. So this is someone very, very stable, secure, grounded, um, very smart, analytical, nurturing, caring, and giving, growth, expansion. I mean, everything here. And then the six of pentacles, that's equal give and take, reciprocity between the both of you, equal exchange. So... Yeah, this is a very stable person for you. Very stable, grounded connection. A lot of equal give and take in this connection. So I think you need to tell this person, you know, you don't want to lose them. If you haven't done that, that's the rushing in. But be a little mindful of your energy, you know, going into this. But I definitely feel like, you know, they definitely want to work on it also. So let's see what the possible outcome is for you, Gemini. What is the possible outcome here for Gemini? First pot of October spirit, please. Well, we have the Eight of Swords here, which is your energy again. So this is mental blockage, mental entrapment. You can easily get out of this at any time. Uh, this is being stuck in your head. So 
I don't know, for some reason, I mean, your advice is to just tell this person, you know, you want to move things along, um, leveling up in some way. But you have, I think you're just not, again, with the two of swords, or you're just not sure how to do it. You're like, you're stuck in your head. Or maybe if you want to propose, you're stuck in your head. I don't know how to do this. I don't know, indecisive, and I don't know how to do it. I'm stuck in my head. What if they say no? You know, it's like you want to rush in because here's the pentacle here, you know, and offer that pentacle. All right. So let's get a couple more clarifiers for your outcome here. Yep, there's the communication. We have the Eight of Wands. And we have the Three of Cups. So further for your outcome here, we have two Eights. We have the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is about fiery, passionate, quick-paced movement, action, travel, communication, passionate communication. And then the Three of Cups is rejoicing, reuniting, coming together, celebrating, having a good time. So I feel like they will reciprocate here with the Three of Cups. You'll be, you'll be rejoicing, celebrating, you know. So I think whatever you communicate here passionately towards them, they will be very happy about it because you will be celebrating. So you don't need to be stuck in your head about this um, connection or, you know, proposing or whatever here. Because this almost looks like, you know, like a reception. Everybody's happy and having a good time. So they do have a lot of passion on their side also. They want to work together. They want to build for the long term here. And the Nine of Pentacles can be a single energy. So, you know, maybe they are single. You're both single here. But, yep. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. Again, putting in the dedica dedicated effort and the hard work. Here, moving forward in this connection, Earth energy again. And here's the lovers. Here's the two soulmates. I had said that here with your true love card, looked like the lovers card. And here's your Gemini card, the lovers. Two people coming together in soulmate union. The fool, take that leap of faith. You have the sun behind you for happiness, success, victory, joy. Take the leap of faith. Jump right in. It's a new start, fresh new start. Here's the Queen of Wands energy. So, I mean, very fiery, passionate, energetic energy, go-getter type of energy. So, I mean, they could be any sign. Maybe they are a fire sign, or this is their energy or your energy. A very passionate connection here. And their strength. So, it's Leo energy again. So, uh, having strength, strength, courage, and bravery to um, just hey, say, hey, I want to level up, you know, or propose, or do whatever you want to do here. To have that uh, willpower, strength, and courage to do that. Very strong bond connection here. You see the infinity symbol here. Bound together forever here with the infinity. You might have had past lives together. Knight of Cups energy. So happiness, joy, wishes, and dreams coming true. Yep. Very strong, strong bond here. Very passionate bond. Taking that leap of faith. Jumping right in. Being soulmate union here. And working hard uh, together here for the future, putting in that effort. All right, so let's get more for you, Gemini. Let's get more for Gemini and this love connection. Love connection for Gemini, first part of October. Gemini, Gemini. If you are already in a committed relationship, I see. Some of you may want to propose or you're waiting for your person to propose. You could swap the energies however you see fit. If you feel like this side is them and this is you, then please do swap the energies however you see fit. All right, for Gemini. Extra messages for Gemini. Stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't, don't quit before the miracle occurs. So... Stay optimistic here. Have faith, hope, and optimism in this connection. Dreams will be coming true in this connection for the future. I do see a lot of pentacles here. That's long-term for the future, building long-term. Life partner, very passionate connection. Stable, a lot of truth and clarity. There is love too, there is love too. So 
What else for Gemini? A new dawn. The worst is now behind you. A positive new experiences are on the horizon. So this is going to be a new beginning, a new dawn, a new life moving forward. And again, with staying positive. Stay positive about what's to come on the horizon here. Is there anything else for Gemini? First half of October. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Anything else for Gemini? Accept heaven's help. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. So, you know, maybe you've been really thinking, contemplating, you know, and praying, you know, how, you know, how do I come forward? How do I approach this or whatever here? And just know that um, the divine source, the energy, the universe here has your back. And uh, they're with you and guiding you during this here. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings. So this change and this connection, leveling it up, whatever you're doing here, will be a blessed change moving forward. Yep, blessed change moving forward. Wow, Gemini. Definitely see soul, a lot of soulmate, heavy soulmate energy here. Growth, stability for long for the long term. A lot of truth between the two of you. Honesty, passion, a lot of passion with the Ace of Wands here. And there is love, true love. And soulmate union. Okay, Gemini, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the playlist below in the description box. If something catches your eye there, I would say watch it anyway. Disregard the dates. I do consider them all timeless. If you do like my style and you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. And liking the videos, sharing them will help the videos to circulate and grow the channel and uh, get these messages out to the people who need to hear them. So thank you so much for being a part of that. It's really, really appreciated. Thank you so much. And sending you many light, love, and blessings. And good luck to you in your situation here. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.